Hello, this is Ben Gassier, and this is part two of how to make a box with a laser cutter. In the first uh, part, we uh, looked at how to design a box just on paper, and now we're at part two, we're going to look at how to do the 3D design of the box with uh, SketchUp. So I'm using uh, SketchUp uh, 15.3. I'm using the free version. Uh, you can download it uh, online. Just look up for SketchUp. All right, so I'm going to do File, New. And I'm going to start uh, looking at my box. So I have my image here that I scanned in, or took a picture of. And I'm going to start by doing the front of the box. So the front of the box is 5 inches by 3 inches. All right. So let's go over here and take the rectangle tool. We'll start at the origin, and we'll start dragging. And once, once we started dragging, we don't click again. We actually just type 5 inches, comma, 3 inches and you can actually see it appear down at the bottom where it says dimensions here now that i move the mouse they disappeared but watching this little box five inches comma three inches and press enter and a little square appears that is exactly five inches by three inches now it's a little small so i'm just going to click on zoom on everything and there we go here's my front of the box that's five inches by three inches i'm going to zoom out and i'm going to say i want to just look at the top of the box or the front uh, of the box. So now I want to make little legs, and those little legs are going to be. Uh, let's. I'm going to make a ruler. And I'm going to decide that the legs are uh, a quarter of an inch from the side. And they will start there, and they will go a quarter of an inch up from the side. Now I could make them a little bit taller. Let's make them go half an inch from the bottom. And we're going to make another line that's half an inch from the side. So my little leg is actually going to start, go straight for a quarter of an inch. Boom. And then I'm going to use the curve tool to go a quarter of an inch. And on the other side, I need some guides as well. So I'm going to take my guide, come from here, and say one quarter. And from here, another quarter. And notice I'm typing in one quarter and again at the bottom of the box you can see length says one quarter and I press enter and it'll snap to that length. So now I'm going to take my line tool I'm going to go from that end point to here then my curve tool come over here and my line tool again come down to here. And now I can take my eraser I just pressed E for eraser or I could come over here and click on it I'm going to erase that line here. There we go. Now I can erase my guides that I no longer use to make the legs. And I have the basic shape of the front of the box. Now I want to have a little indentation here for the uh, where the lid's going to close. We can look at our picture. And I want about the same size. I want a little place where the bottom of the box will be able to glue in. So let's start with placing where those things are. So about one eighth of an inch from the bottom is where I want um, that little hole for the bottom of the box. And it is exactly one eighth of an inch high because my material is one eighth of an inch thick. And from the top, same thing. It is one eighth of an inch wide that I want the little hole at the top. Now, where do I want that uh, sideways from side to side? So let's put a guide here. I just double clicked on this green line and you can see the guide has appeared. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guide and I'm going to move it to the other side of the box. But as I'm moving, I'm going to hit control, which means I'm now copying the line, not just moving it, I'm copying it. And I'm going to move it right to this end. Boom. And now I have a line on each side but if I hit the divide and say by 5, so look at the bottom right, you'll see divide 5, and press enter, you'll see it'll divide that space exactly in 5. So I now have a guideline every uh, one-fifth of the way through my box. And I can now make some lines for where the top of the lid is going to be and where that hole for the bottom is going to be as well. And then I will hit E for eraser, get rid of the top line, 
just select this and hit delete and then I can delete all my guides again because I no longer need them now same thing I want to have a little spot here where the sides of the box are going to slot in so again I will take my ruler and double click on the bottom of the box double click oops not double click hit escape I'm now going to move that line hit control as I'm moving to the top and I'm going to divide that by five actually I'm going to divide by three and now I have again that space is divided evenly in three now I'm going to take my ruler again and then I want to go one eighth because that's the thickness of the sides and one eighth here as well and I'm going to make a little rectangle from here to here and from here to here and then take my little eraser boom boom and let's get rid of the guides that I no longer need and that is the face of the front of the box now if I rotate it I can now use the push pull tool and push it and as I'm pushing I type in 1 8 because that's how thick my material is and I now have a 1 8 thick uh, front of my box I will click on the select tool double triple click on everything so it selects everything and I'm going to create a component out of this so make component, I'm going to call this the front, and I'm going to hit create. Once I make a component, anything else I add to this doesn't automatically interact with the component. It doesn't get stuck to it. It, doesn't, it isn't part of this component. The only way I change things in this component is to double click on it and then make changes to it. You'll see that it's very useful later on. I will show you how. And that's it for creating the front of the box.